Right, good evening. Um, I'll begin with some housekeeping. Um, so today it's Ash Wednesday, the beginning of the Lenten season, and the church um, encourages each one of us to practice fasting and abstinence today. So it's um, past 6 p.m., so I hope that some of us remembered to do something to, um, to honor this day, like some form of abstinence or fasting is very important. Ash Wednesday, Good Friday, and no meat tonight for dinner, if possible, okay? <laughs> um, we can do fish and shrimp and all that just to, to keep the spirit of the um, Lenten season. Um, but if you have eaten meat, no sin, okay, no problem. Maybe we forgot, but um, probably we still have the, the disposition to continue to do something um, to honor the season of Lent. So then secondly, we will have um, a lot of opportunities here at Our Lady of Joy to help us um, during the Lenten season. On um, Wednesdays, 5 to 6 p.m., right? Yeah, we have confession here every Wednesdays during Lent. On Fridays, we will have Stations of the Cross, 5 p.m. to 6 p.m., or uh, before 6, and then um, those of us who are interested, we will proceed to the hall for fish dinner, which I love very much, right? <laughs> Okay, so that's very, 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 very important. <laughs> Fish dinner. Okay, and then someone is offering to lead the Stations of the Cross every morning, Mondays through Thursdays, and here in the church um, to help us um, grow in our relationship with God and one another. So today, um, shortly, we will be receiving the ashes. And in biblical times, when people sin and they recognize that they have sinned, one of the things that they do to tell God that we are sorry, we have uh, really offended you, we have grieved you by our sins. So they pour ashes on themselves. It's a sign of penance. It's a sign of penitence that we are sorry. God, what can we do to be better? What can we do to atone for our sins? So they pour ashes on themselves to, to symbolize their repentance. And the church borrowed that to continue to practice that discipline. And we do that today, specifically on Ash Wednesday, to tell God that we are sorry. Romans 3.23, St. Paul says that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So one of the things that we would like to focus on during Lent is repentance, repentance. The Lord will continue to call each of us to conversion, to con uh, re uh, repentance, and because he loves us. Sin separates us from him. Sin makes us the worst version of ourselves. Sin makes us very, um, we make poor choices that affect other people that we love. So we want to pursue that repentance every day. And, um, Thinking about repentance, and some, a saint said something very, very special about repentance that I'd like to share with us to also think about, about it as we, we focus on, on repentance. So St. John Climacus, he says, to repent is not to look downward at my own shortcomings. And we like to do that a lot. It's good to recognize that we have seen, but if you leave it at that, then we're not going to gain from that decision. So it is not about to look downward at my own shortcomings, but upward at God's love. Because what's the point of saying that I'm a sinner and I don't want to believe that God loves me? It is when we recognize and experience the love of God, then we are moved, we are motivated to tell him that we are sorry and we want to be better. So try so hard during this season to, to think about God's love for you and those places that he has demonstrated his boundless, unconditional love for you. From there, we draw strength 
to resist temptation. From there we draw strength to love him above all things. So, but upward at God's love. It is not to look backwards with self-reproach. Sometimes we, we, we can move forward in our relationship with God because we think that God can never forgive us for what we have done. I mean, God is not a wicked judge. He's a merciful father. He knows that we are weak. He knows that he will die for us and we might not be able to love him back, yet he came and died for us. So whatever we've done in the past, the Lord wants you to let go of the past and move forward with him into the future. So it is not to look backward with self-reproach, but forward with trust. It is to see not what I have failed to be, but what by the grace of Christ I might yet become. It is not who you are, but who you can become that God is thinking about every time he looks at you. So do not chastise yourself too much for the failures in your life or the failures um, you've, you've committed before God, but look at who God wants you to become. And during this season of Lent, can I pick up devotions that can help me become that person that God wants me to be? So I pray that we will um, we'll think about this and work on this during this season of Lent, that we are called to repentance, but above all is to ponder the boundless, unconditional love of God. Now we will move to the next part of our celebration. We will do the prayers and then distribute ashes. So if you get a big sign from Deacon, it's Deacon's revenge. If you get a good sign from me, it's Father's love. <laughs>